It's very expensive and time consuming to have a patient go to the hospital for hysteroscopy. And that's what we were doing before. And it became clear that we could do hysteroscopy in the office and it would really cut down on the number of patients we had to schedule in the operating room. Well, first and foremost is, um, like Dr. Hafner previously mentioned, is the how much it's time consuming and expensive, not only for the patient, but also for us as the provider and for the office. So um, having a procedure that can take up to 10 minutes in the office, honestly, uh, with the office hysteroscopy to take out a polyp or to diagnose postmenopausal bleeding compared to the time that with the patient and the provider and the staff would have to spend to schedule a surgery, uh, go wait in the pre-op room and the patient having the anesthesia uh, complication and side effect is definitely uh, much more risky than performing uh, an office hysteroscopy, um, an office hysteroscopy. So this is one. Two, uh, money-wise, of course, uh, like the provider being in the office and uh, performing uh, office hysteroscopy is definitely more beneficial for the business and for the staff, like I mentioned, because we would be putting a little bit less time to call the hospital to schedule it. Same thing for the patient as well. Um, the other thing, patients actually really prefer uh, coming to the office setting compared to the hospital. Uh, we mentioned like the uh, era of COVID, we actually were able, especially during the lockdown and like all the elective procedures were actually not allowed, we were able to help those patients uh, do those procedures in a safe uh, environment, but also get the same results honestly that we would get if we're doing it uh, at the hospital. Uh, it's um, it's not it's pain, it's painless. Uh, patients can actually either go back to work the same day, uh, compared to anesthesia at the hospital that they have to uh, like take the whole day off or even like a couple of days to recover. If a okay. patient has a hysteroscopy in the hospital, it takes at least three hours of their time that day. They can't go back to work. They have to go home. They have to have all the preoperative testing and COVID testing. When we do it in the office, there may be here average 10 minutes, or maybe 15 yeah. minutes, 15 to 20 minutes. And we have the answer mm -hmm. right there. We had to buy some a few supplies, not very many. We had to get the fluid management system. We had to train our staff to be able to do it to help us with it. But other than that, it was very, very simple to incorporate it into our practice.